名月亮湾花园，二一年二月份成交单价十二万八，二三年八月份成交单价五万二，跌幅五十九点一亿。第四名，因为你替我还房贷，我就把房子送给他。你没有听错，因为就在昨天我已经断供了。你买了个张老房子，是我借。是不是我的重量？你得七十万买了，赚那么多钱，别哭了，回老家吧。没法给你过了。现在银行的坏账率、逾期率都超过你们的想象了，那数字都不敢看。哎，算了啊。Exactly how far have China's housing prices fallen? On July 7, 2024, a netizen on the X platform posted, "95 cities in China are already like the city of Hergong. Now, with a few thousand to twenty thousand dollars, although you can't buy a BYD electric car after a price reduction, you can buy a house." Attached below the post is a list of cities with very low prices for buying a house. As you can see from the picture, many provinces and cities in China, such as Liaoning, Jilin, Heilongjiang, Inner Mongolia, Xinjiang, Gansu, Ningxia, Hebei, Shandong, and Guangdong, are all listed. Here, I would like to introduce the city of Hergong, a declining industrial city in northeast China. Houses in this city are incredibly cheap. The origin of this statement is that in 2019, a crew member from Zhoushan, Zhejiang Province, bought a 77 square meter two-bedroom and one living house in this city for US 8,000. At that time, housing prices in other Chinese cities remained high, so the story immediately spread on the internet. At that time, the average house price in Hergong was US 300 per square meter. In 2019, in cities in eastern China, for example, housing prices in the suburbs of Zhoushan, Zhejiang Province, were U.S. 1,650 per square meter, and houses near the city center were about U.S. 2,750 dollars per square meter. In just a few years, China's entire property market has fallen, including in first-tier cities such as Beijing, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, and Shanghai. While property prices in smaller cities have generally fallen to 60 to 70 percent of their peak prices. The following videos were released in March 2024 and tell the true story of the decline in housing prices in Shenzhen, China's most prosperous city. 特别是二零二零年到二零二一年之间，前海的新房也盘往往就售罄，前海待念的二手房也被捧上天，像诺德贾某花园，当时的最高单价都去到了十七万一平。As can be seen from the video, housing prices in Qianhai, Shenzhen, reached a historical peak in February 2021. The total transaction price of a 92 square meter three-bedroom house was US 1.63 million, and the unit price was as high as US 18,000 per square meter. However, starting in February 2022, the unit price of houses fell to 11,000 US dollars per square meter. In February 2023, the transaction price of a three-bedroom apartment with 104 square meters fell to 8,600 US dollars per square meter. In June of the same year, a 93 square meter apartment's unit price of a three-bedroom house dropped to US 7,484 dollars per square meter. By November, the unit price of a three-bedroom house with 105 square meters dropped to US 6,782 dollars per square meter. However, it is not over yet. In 2024, the latest transactions show that the unit price of newly sold properties continues to fall to US $6,576 per square meter. The netizens in this video summarized the huge decline in housing prices in Shenzhen over the past few years and found that some residential areas in Shenzhen have dropped by 70% in the past two years. This netizen took stock of the housing prices in the five residential areas in Shenzhen, which experienced the largest decline. Name: Yuelang Wan Garden. 二一年二月份成交单价十二万八，二三年八月份成交单价五万二，跌幅五十九点一亿。第四名，罗湖的东门幺六八。The netizen went on to say, in fourth place, Luhu Dongmen 168. The transaction price in January 2021 was US $20,636 per square meter, and in July 2023, it was US $8,255 per square meter, a decrease of 59.4 percent. Third place is Futian Bagui Ling Dormitory with a transaction price of US $21,324 per square meter in February 2021.
The transaction unit price in September 2023 was US$8,255 per square meter, a 60% decrease. In second place, Luohu Shufei Hui Long Garden, the transaction price in February 2021 was US $20,774 per square meter, and the transaction price in 2023 was US $6,741 per square meter, a decrease of 67.24%. The drop in housing prices in Shenzhen summarized by this netizen is really shocking. The following video is probably the emotion expressed by a housing agent. The agent said, for a house with a market price of US 960,000 to US 1.1 million in Futian, the legal auction price can now start at only US 550,000 to US 690,000. House prices have dropped by an average of about 20% in just one year. Considering the decline in interest rates, it's at least 30% less than the house I bought before. Now, many Shenzhen owners want to sell their homes but don't want to sell them at a low price. Those who can hold on can support themselves, and those who can't hold on will be sued by banks and auctioned. The agent said that the houses she posted on her WeChat moments were all about 22% lower than the market price. For example, there was a house in Futian Shisha with a market price of US 963,000, and the starting price of the legal auction is US 770,000. There is also a four-bedroom property next to Shenzhen University in Nanshan with a market price of US 1.17 million. The legal auction price starts at US 530,000. It can be seen from this that housing prices in Shenzhen have fallen sharply. This is not even the worst. In June 2024, an article titled, The house price in our community dropped to 54,000 US dollars. Welcome everyone to come to Wu Ching Tianjin and be my neighbor was widely circulated on the internet. The article said that Tianjin was the first to innovate the Beijing Peninsula project. An 83-square-meter two-bedroom apartment cost more than US 220,000 per unit at its peak. The transaction price of the same apartment is less than US 54,000 per unit, and it's difficult to sell even if the price is reduced. In fact, as early as February 2024, Chinese netizens began to discuss where housing prices have fallen the most in China. On February 15, 2024, netizen Eye of the Night Snowball posted, Where is the worst place where housing prices have fallen? Recently, an anchor posted that in a place called Baohua near Nanjing, the housing price in 2019 was US $1,788 per square meter, and now it's US $963 per square meter, calling it the place where housing prices have fallen the most. The comment section is going crazy. A netizen from Herbei was not calm anymore. He posted a post saying that when he bought a house in Huilai, Herbei, it cost 2,476 US dollars per square meter. But now it's 316 US dollars per square meter. As long as he can repay the mortgage, the house will be given away for free. Someone immediately commented and said that the price in Xili, Silver Beach, and Huizhou, Guangdong was originally 2,476 US dollars per square meter. But now it's about 280 US dollars per square meter. The house that someone bought for 247,000 US dollars, but now 110,000 US dollars, no one wants it. The post mentioned that someone said, As long as you can pay off the mortgage, the house will be given away for free. The girl below also mentioned this topic in the video. The girl said that in 2022, she emptied her parents' savings of almost 30 years and bought a large flat in the North District. The total price was about US 400,000. The down payment was about US 120,000. She also paid a loan of US 275,000. It was quite popular when it opened, but by April and May 2023, the market price of that house was less than US 275,000, and it also came with a parking space. Her previous loan interest rate was 5.8%, and now it's 4.1%, a difference of 110,000. 
一年多的时间，我赔了一百六十三万。我不知道一百六十三万对于你们来说意味着什么，但是对于我来说，我感觉天都要塌下来。This video is about the consequences of a Beijing citizen who couldn't afford a mortgage. The female netizen said that the most miserable group of people in Beijing are those who bought houses in Yanzhou with loans. In 2017, a friend of mine bought a three-bedroom apartment in Yanzhou with a loan of US 600,000. The down payment was about US 180,000, and the loan was US 412,000. The term was 30 years, and the monthly repayments were about US 2,340. Four years later, he was surprised. It was discovered that the house bought for 600,000 back then has a market value of only about 280,000, which has been cut in half. A netizen said that her friend decided to stop paying the mortgage, but in the first month, when the payment was cut off, she received a text message saying "10 days overdue." In the second month, she received a message saying "40 days overdue," and in the third month, she received a text message "overdue for 40 days." 70 days overdue. Three months later, the bank will call to ask if the principal can be repaid. In the seventh month, you will receive a courier from China Post containing a court notice. The judgment will be issued at most two months after the court session. If the house is not handed over, the executive bureau will conduct an online auction in half a year, and his home will be auctioned at 20% off, 220,000. After the house was sold, the previous loan of approximately US 413,000 was cut off, and the interest during the period was quadrupled, including legal fees, etc. It became US 550,000. The house was auctioned, and the bank still had to pay about US 300,000. In June 2024, a video circulated on the internet showed a family buying a house for 233,000 and selling it for 122,000, losing almost half of it. <laughs> the couple was feeling heavy after selling their home. Netizens commented, "As long as the Communist Party does not end, divorce will not be easy either." Others said, "Every injustice has its owner. Every debt has its owner. And go out, turn left, and look to the government." This video shows a building where many owners have hung up red banners that say "Low Price Transfer." The above is the sad experience of people buying houses. A bank employee in this video said that Dalian's housing prices must not fall any further. If they fall any further, some people really can't afford it, especially those who took out a loan to buy a house. On July 12, 2024, netizen Little Sweet Bun posted, "Wow, bank employees shouted in horror. It's terrible. The number of home loan cutoffs across the country is simply unbelievable. No one dares tell the truth. Banks are trying their best to communicate with customers to find solutions, preferring to freeze loans for a few years rather than get stuck in auctions. Today's housing market auction situation discourages them. Even if the house is sold, it cannot fill the financial hole of the bank." The property market is turbulent, and many people's down payments and savings have been wiped out instantly. So frustrating. The words of this netizen below may be a revelation to many who have spent huge sums of money to buy houses during the frenzied house buying boom in the past few years, but now have a sharp decline in house prices. The Jai Biangao incident shows that knowledge cannot determine destiny. Shen Wan San's story shows that wealth cannot determine destiny. The Lin Biao incident shows that power cannot determine destiny, and Zhang Ailing's departure shows that cognition determines destiny. Chinese economist Wu Jinglian said, "China's middle class is still very naive and does not know where their fundamental interests lie. They think that as long as I have a house, drive a luxury car, and have a wife and children, that will be enough. In fact, if society is not perfect, one's personal future is not guaranteed." According to the latest data from the National Bureau of Statistics of China, investment in real estate fell by 10.1 percent year-on-year in the first half of 2024, while the sales area of housing also dropped by 19 percent. In the first five months of 2024, the decline was as high as 20.3 percent. On July 15, 2024, according to Reuters, in June this year, the price of new homes in China fell at the fastest rate in nine years, starting in 2015. 
and real estate sales and investment also fell sharply. Although Chinese officials have taken more stimulus measures, the hard-hit real estate industry has still not bottomed out. Starting in 2021, a series of large Chinese developers, including Evergrande Group, have defaulted one after another, resulting in many construction sites being idle, houses that could not be completed being turned into unfinished buildings, and the housing market beginning to slump. The downturn in real estate has not only impacted the Chinese economy, but also the wealth of Chinese people, because many Chinese families have invested a large part of their wealth in real estate. Real estate has continued to drag China's economy significantly in recent years. Some people may wonder how much more housing prices in China will have to fall before they bottom out. In June 2024, when Yao Yang, an economics professor at Peking University, attended the Summer Davos Forum, he told the Chinese media that housing prices must fall by 40% before China's market can correct itself. However, Wang Wang Chen, an assistant researcher at the China Economic Research Institute in Taiwan, said, Mainland Chinese scholars say it will fall to 40%, which is basically impossible. By the end of this year, there will probably be a financial crisis. The scholar also said that if China's housing market is in a downturn, China's entire economy will continue to idle. In the case of idling, the Chinese government's financial resources will become increasingly scarce. If it is short-lived, it will be more difficult for the Chinese government to solve the housing market problem. Mainland China's economy has now fallen into a vicious cycle. Okay, that's all for today. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave a message and share it with your friends. See you next time.